welcome uh, this is a continuation of previous lectures on circular motion so we have studied the circular motion and the vertical circular motion and in the last video we have studied the minimum velocity at different points for a vertical circular motion so we have learned uh, suppose there is a vertical or circular motion around center o so the minimum velocity at the upper point it was under root of rg these two corner points or sideway points were so under root of 3 rg it was under root 3 rg and this the lowest point it was under root of 5 rg so the let's have in direction let the direction of motion was this way okay and let me call it as v1 v2 v3 and v4 so the minimum velocity at the lowest point to complete this whole circle the minimum velocity should be under root of 5 rg so if we have less than velocity than 5 rg then the particle will not reach at this point or the highest point okay so uh, we are going to have a problem on this problem where the minimum velocity at lowest point is not 5 rg less than that so before going to that problem let's see what happens to uh, velocity which has less so suppose there is a, a a fixed point not a fixed rope let's take a fixed point Okay, suppose there is a fixed point, let's say O, and a rope and a mass of M, suppose there is a pendulum, and it's let's say its velocity is under root of not 5 rg, let's say 4 rg. So, the particle will reach this point, okay, and it will go beyond some further point, let's say this angle is theta, so it will go till this point. So, here at this point, because the energy the minimum energy at this lowest point a to complete a circle half mv square it should be that is the velocity should be under root of 5 rg it is 4 rg so it will not reach this point let's say b which is the uppermost point okay so it will not reach at point b so it will some so here let's say it goes to 3.a to c at this point the instantaneous velocity will not be zero it instantaneous velocity will be in this direction so this will not be zero and from here so it is a motion under gravity so it will have an parabolic path around here or it it may hit this point or it will go here and there so there is one problem in one of the book i don't remember it is in hc verma or i where the minimum velocity at point a was less than 5 rg and the, at point c the particle released in such a way that it hits the point of hinge okay so, so I think you have to find the minimum velocity at point A, what was it? So you have to find out where the problem was. So either in SC Verma or in Erdov. Okay, so this is parabolic path hereafter. So the minimum velocity is less than 5 rg. So then the particle will some till some point it will go. So this is circular motion. So till this point it is circular and after that point it will go to uh, the parabolic path so let's have one problem on this so the problem is suppose there is a fixed point o and there is a pendulum of length say let's say the length is something let's call it as r and uh, the, the minimum velocity at the lowest point is at under root 3 rg then you have to find the angle rotated by the string before it slackens so let us suppose so this velocity is less than under root of 5 rg so it means it is not going to complete the circle so let's say the particle goes at till some point let's say it is at point it let us go as point p and this angle made with the horizontal is let's say it is theta because one of the angle is known that is pi by 2 the final answer will be pi by 2 plus this theta now we have to find this angle theta so when the particle reaches at point p so it will have an instantaneous velocity which is in this direction because the particle is going in this direction and 
the mass of the particle that is mg the force acting on the particle will be in downward direction this is mg so let extend it okay so this angle is theta and so this angle will be 90 minus theta okay so the component in this direction of mg the radial direction will be mg of cos 90 minus theta that is nothing but mg sin theta so when it slackens at the highest point the tension in the string will be zero so i always told you to write the radial equation okay so to solve this problem we have to write the radial equation of motion so let's write the radial equation of motion so what it will be fr that radial force is mass times the radial acceleration the radial force is nothing but mg of sine theta this is mv square upon r okay so uh, this will mm will cancel out so this is rg of sine theta is equal to v so the velocity at particle p is rg of sine theta okay now i have told you you can use this equation v square is equal to u square plus 2 gh when the particle is going from up to down and now the particle is going from down to up so you will use this minus of 2 gh so this velocity this v you can write it as sorry it is v square so this v square you can write it as u square minus of 2 g h where h is a height between this point p to this point okay so this is your h so from here the equation is r g sin theta is equal to and u is your this u is your under root 3 r g so initial velocity so it is equal to u square minus 2 g h u is equal 3 r g so this is 3 r g minus 2 g let's find the value of h what okay so the value of h is nothing but this is r plus your this distance so this distance is nothing but your r1 minus of sin theta because this will be cos theta this is sin theta so this is r1 minus of sin theta so this is r plus sorry this will be r sin theta so this distance is nothing but r of sin theta so h will be r plus r of sin theta this is nothing but r1 plus of sin theta so this is your total h so you can write it here in place of h you can replace r1 plus of sin theta so you see 2g r sin theta and g r sin theta it will become 3g r of sin theta is equal to this will become r g implies that sin theta is equal to 1 by 3 so this implies that theta is equal to sin inverse of 1 by 3 so the angle total angle rotated by the string will be pi pi by 2 plus sine inverse 1 by 3 so this is pi by 2 plus of sine inverse of 1 by 3 so that is the total angle rotated by the this bob of mass m okay so that was the problem one problem and in the last lecture we have studied the radius of curvature and we have not seen any problem on that so today we will have at least one problem on that also on radius of curvature so the next problem is so this is your next problem so if the particle moves with constant speed v naught along the curve that is y is equal to alpha times x square so this curve is given by let's say the equation y is equal to alpha times x square you have to find the normal force a normal reaction at this point that is 0 comma 0 so you can consider the arc of at this point as a circle so this will be a circular motion problem at 0 comma 0 so first you have to find the r of r is the radius of radius of curvature at that point 0 comma 0 so i have told you the formula for r that was 1 plus dy by dx whole square whole power 3 by 2 
divide by d square y by dx square so this is equal to 1 plus your dy by dx is 2 alpha x whole square so this is 4 alpha square x square whole power 3 by 2 divide by second derivative is just 2 alpha so this is 2 alpha so you have to find it as x is equal to 0 and y is equal to 0 so it will simply turn out to be your r is equal to 1 times 2 alpha okay so simply you have got the radius of converge radius of curvature at this point now you just have a circular motion problems assume this is a circle and this is a particle at the lowest point so it will be the normal reaction will be n upward mg downward and this velocity is let's say v naught so the radial equation of motion fr is equal to m times ar so radial force is n minus mg is m v naught square by r so simply here n is equal to mg plus m v naught square by r r is your 1 by 2 alpha take m common so your normal reaction will be mg plus 2 v naught square alpha okay so this is just the simply normal reaction or normal force at this point 0 comma 0 so this was just about to find how to calculate the radius of curvature and how to use so till now we have studied the circular motion we have solved some problems and have studied the literature well and uh, i think this was this this should be okay for you to understand about the circular motion till now i have not used any other concepts than writing the radial acceleration or radial force or radial equation of motion in circular motion so whenever you got a problem on circular motion just resolve the forces in all the direction write this radial equation of motion and then proceed further okay so thank you in the next lecture we will we will be dealing about extended object circular motion where we circulate a rod or a sphere in circular motion okay and study their dynamics so please subscribe the channel for latest updates and thank you all the best